Welcome back to LVA Doors. It's been a while since I posted from the last video. I've been caught up with work. Um, so I decided this on a decent day today I'll just do a video on the jet ball systems what I use. Some of them I use on a hiking trip, some of them I use for family camping. The difference really between them is not much except for the size really. I mean you've got the zip which is the smallest one, you've got flash which is slightly bigger and then you've got jewel. Jewel's more like a family camping or like a, a larger group camping cooking stove. Um, but yeah, so I'll start with the zip. Zip is the smallest one between them from Jetball. So I brought this from the Kafla. Um, I think it was about around 60 pound. I like the system. It's compact, so everything goes into this. I haven't got any gas canisters at the moment, what actually goes inside this. So you've got a top lid, you've got a bottom cup which you can actually use as a drinking cup or well, there is measurements inside um, ounces for your measuring cup so you can use that then inside you've got a burner and a tripod so if you had the, can the canister the canister would also fit inside so all of this is compact because all of that just goes into this the way it works I mean, these been about now for years. There's so many reviews, but I just thought I'd give my honest opinion what I think about these systems. So you can use pretty much any on screw and canister. And these on larger ones, on the wider one. So if you want to get the most compact solution, get the one what comes with the jet ball, which is a smaller canister, so everything will fit inside. So it's pretty simple. The burner itself, you screw it on. These actually got a pretty decent seals. I have used the previous uh, MSR system where I did not like the seal once or twice, it just would not lock. But that could be a manufacturing problem. So you get your canister, your tripod's only there for stability. Also, the jet boil, um, these stabilizers, they come with two different sizes, so you can have a wider one which will work on that one. So that's there. Your jet ball cup will have these two locking pins so you can lock it in, twist it, and then that comes as one solid unit. And that's pretty much about it. To light this system, you're going to need a light. Uh, the flashing, on the other hand, it's slightly different as you can see. These are called cozies. So on a cozy, these are different indicators. It will glow orange when it tells you when the water is warm. Again, the difference is just the height. There's not much difference to them. You get the lid. On this one, um, it's an optional extra you can buy from Jet Boil. It's just adapter, you can put your saucepans on there. Or if you've got something else to put on there, that will let you do so. You've got the burner, and you've got the tripod, and a measuring cup. I think the design is slightly different. Them ones will have the square grills where these ones are I think this is the new 2018 um, model. For some reason, I find this burn actually boiling water quicker. Well, I'll do a test in a minute with water who actually bears the quickest. So, again, this one's got a slightly different regulator. You can actually get more control with this than you can with the zip. And this one's got igniter, so you don't need a lighter. So, the way it works is pretty simple. Same again, you grab your canisters. Same again, you've got two locking points where you can lock your jet bottle in and it will just stay. So it doesn't matter. To hold open it, hold the bottom, twist it, and it comes loose. And again, you've got. So you can see the difference between them. I mean, they are the same size canisters. It's just, it's, the burner itself is slightly taller and it obviously you can hold more water than these so that's how that works with the jaw bigger canister a lot bigger canister I used this when I went camping with my family um, I took it as a back just as a backup because the cooking system where I brought it did not work so luckily I took this system with me with the jaw you, you 
get your hand off, and get your top cap, and again all this comes compact. So that's your main burner. There is a, a size difference, a massive size difference between them all. I'll just put that to the side. So canister wise, you can fit all your canisters except for those two because they are slightly taller. But if you had your small jet boy canister, what comes with these small cups, you can even use those as well. So again, your regulator flicks out. With these, what I like about with pretty much with this one and the flash, you can control them down to the simmer really good. With the zip, I gotta be honest, you can't you can control them, but not as good as these. Canister goes in. It's a bit tricky to be honest here. Yeah? There's not much room to get them in, but you can get those in. Screw them on. And again, on the, on the jewel, the seal is pretty good. I have so far I haven't had any problems with it. So that's the burner with the canister. Same again, you've got two locking points. You lock them in, turn it, and that comes secure. Lid goes on top, and that's you ready to rock and roll. Um, the other thing to point out here is. On the jet ball, this flux system, what they use, all what they have added, they added extra surface. So when the wind blows, I haven't had any problems. Only one time I had a problem on the flash, when the wind really picked up, the burning time to get your water to boiling point took a lot longer than it usually would with a day like this where there's no wind. Again, this cozy what's around, as soon as it gets hot, you're not going to burn. So you're going to feel the heat. You can handle it with, with no problems whatsoever. Same as the flash, same as with the zip. So what I'll do next is, I'll fill these up with water. All three of them. We'll light them at the same time. And we'll see how long it takes to burn. So that's the chill. Also, the jet boil frying pan these are great i had the previous one which had the flux system around it the older version i wasn't a massive fan of it i struggled to position it so because of the flux system on the bottom you almost had to have it perfectly fine you had to position it perfectly fine on the burner to actually get the frying pan on where with this one the new system is just flat like your normal frying pan so you'd have no problems but the way it works is you take your cap off you extend these lips and this is not just the frying pan you can use literally every frying pan on you don't have to use jet boil so it goes on locks in when you start your canister that's it so that's why I like the system it's compact I don't think it's the lightest on the market but it just perfectly works for me so I fill these up with water and we'll give them a test run so we fill these up with water. The zip holds 800 milliliters of water. The flash holds a litre and the jewel holds two and a half litres. You can overfill them slightly more, but I think if you leave plenty of space on top, the boiling water will not go over the side. So, but that's how much they hold on. So I think I will light them up. We'll start with the with the zip which is the smallest one so with the zip only one downside to zip is well there's two downsides in my you know in my opinion is the simmer you can't control it as much as you can with the flash or the jewel um so their little regulator sometimes it's a bit awkward to put your hands in and turn it at the same time it's manageable you it's not that like you can't do it, it's just I prefer the, the newer system. So, if I light this up, I've got a stopwatch and we'll actually we'll go through it. 
So with the zip, place it on top. We'll start it and we'll open them up fully. We'll have a look how long it takes. So I don't think it's far. You can see a few bubbles coming through. And at the moment in time, we are down to two minutes and 40 seconds. So we shouldn't be any time longer. So the boilers, so it's three minutes dead on. Um, I don't think my canisters are full gas canisters, so maybe that could affect the time, but I don't think three minutes is pretty bad. So if I put this one on the side. So the next one, Tui, we'll do the jet ball flash. Jet ball flash. So this one's a lot easier. It's got an igniter already built in, and it's got way better regulator for your sim room. So we'll open it up fully. You can tell a, a massive difference already. I think it performs a lot better than the zip. So we'll give it a go. We'll see how it performs. So so far we're doing minutes and a half. And I don't think it's gonna be any longer now. As you can see the heat indicator at the front has yeah, gone all the way to orange. And that pretty much indicates that the water should be very soon and boiled. Right, so that's water boiled. It took two minutes and 20 seconds. So the jet ball drill, we'll give that a go. So, barely mind is two and a half litres of water. So, find your locking points, put it in, lock it. So now that comes as a full system. So make sure. Get the stopwatch. And we'll see how that performs. So we're down to five minutes ten. And that's yeah, so that's boiling water. So five minutes ten. Personal, I think, opinion with these is these are absolutely great. Um, the jewel you can use for larger group camping or hiking. The jet boil flash if you go fishing, if you do any outdoor activities. I think they are great. They're small, they're compact. I think the boiling time is acceptable, and they have not let me down. I mean, the flash I have used it many times. The jewel we used it once, but. At the moment they're working fine, so I'm very happy with them. But any advice, don't hesitate, comment below, um, subscribe, and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you.